Hello everyone, Zenozumi here, and welcome back to Let's Play Castlevania Aria Sorrow. Last time, well, we defeated Julius Belmont and, uh, Graham Jones. And this time we're in the Chaotic Realm. Uh, off screen, as you can see, by my stats, uh, I got pretty much every soul we can get right now. There are three we still cannot get. Because they are in here. Uh... You might as well say, but you can't see your map, so, uh, don't accidentally step on that. But the blueprints. Lubricants. God. We've got the beam skeletons, which aren't new either. Uh, we've got the iron golem, which is the other place I believe, which is the other place these guys can appear. God. Out the way. The crusaders. Which honestly, the crusaders are not. That bad take out for me anymore because I'm so high level and high HP'd. Don't think it really matters as much. And we meet! Oh no, we don't. Okay, so we're gonna wait a bit, a bit later for that enemy. As you can see, we pretty much have all of these enemies, so we don't need to worry about them. Uh, do we have to go up? No, we don't. We keep going. To the... I almost said right. No, we'll go to the left. Oh! The giant skeletons also here. I thought he only appeared in that one location. Yeah, I got even the Aranus. But now we can meet the first en new enemy of this area, the Alistair. We want find it, uh, but unlike before, yeah, I am going to try and grind for it. I don't know why I'm not just going through the door. Yeah, if it doesn't drop from that, just go back in. Yeah, we've got about over a thousand HP now. We're definitely going to be over prepared for the final boss. That also means we can probably blitz the boss rush quite a few times. Still not getting Alistair's soul. I know, I know there's more Alistair's later on. But getting it now means I can keep track of when we need to actually grind because. Besides, I think this is actually the best one to grind on. Compared to the other enemies, where their better versions are. Well, at least for one of them, it's one of the last ones. And that 
type of enemy is the enemy that is going to be the hardest to even grind on in general because they can actually hit me. And I already know there's going to be at least one person being like, well why aren't you using the flying fish? And there's two reasons why. One, I don't actually understand how the flying fish works and if I'm actually using them correctly. But two, I don't think the effects of it are going to be too effective. Like, I'll even show you. Uh, where's the flying fish? Skyfish. You're meant to charge it up. Like, the tank one works. But I don't think the lock one does, and it costs so much. But I'd rather just not. I was not even trying to hold up. Yeah, this is what grinding looks like for the, the, the last set of souls. Well, I've got a higher chance of potentially getting it, I think. No, we don't. Because it's not like... I know it increases because it's because it locks on multiple of four, I believe. But so negligible. I do like how Alistair and Nemesis both are just silhouettes of sword wielding warriors. And they're not, and they're completely different. One's a uh, demonic like being a monster warrior. Jump attacking is. Oh, there we go. Summons Alastor, the familiar. I believe Alastor's familiar is actually pretty good, honestly, but we don't have the MP, so. Well, we technically do, but I'm not one to waste it. Oh. Okay, uh, we can get across here and we can get a heal. And we can save here. As we move on. I thought there was an enemy here, but hey, there's no one. Uranus. Yeah, it's done. There is the next one, the Demon Lord. Now this one is just annoying to just deal with here. But I believe since... Okay, we can actually do backwards better. It requires him to not use his magic attack. Eight seven. I 
wish it was just a warp here though, if I'm being honest. Demon Lords are also pretty good for leveling up, so we've got a bit more luck, so we might have at least a little bit more chances. Unleashes a furious barrage of magic upon enemies. And we need, for temporary moment, Skula. I don't believe we need Skula anymore, so we can go back to Gremlin. At least until we actually know what. Uh, no, where is it? Mommy, well, first of all, I can put Succubus up there. Headhunter, there it is. I'm gonna keep Headhunter on until we arrive where. Oh, there's a final guard here as well. I think this is the only final guard in the area. Because there is another variation of them here. And now we gotta deal with the final enemy here. Gremlin. You know what? Let's see how good Alistair is against this guy. I pressed the wrong button, honestly. I prefer just black pampering in and out. This is the last enemy of soul, I believe. He's also one of the hardest enemies to just kill. I believe he is the highest health. The claim silence makes him quite easier. Like, as you can see, even with it making him quicker, it still goes on for quite a while. I am. Um, The Valkyrie Soul is going to be very helpful for just making it quicker. His Shadow fights beside him. I've never actually used uh, the Shadow Knight, so uh, let's see. Oh, it's just another stand. Kind of like it. Uh, avoid the Stolas. I'm not going to actually use it, I'm going to just go back to Black Panther. Now we've got all the souls, and there is a reward. We just need to get to the end of this and survive. First, we'll go right here. That's the last mech. Oh, don't remember where it's around here though. 
Okay, I think it's here. Or maybe not, maybe it's a bit further ahead. Okay, I don't remember... Okay, I'm actually going to first check to see if it is all the enemies then. Yeah, it is all the enemies! doing wrong. Give me a moment. I will write back though, don't worry. We have the fact she's got souls correctly. Okay, Skula. I'm being given conflicting information. There we go. Where are you, Chaos Ring? That's not very helpful. Is there any enemies I missed? No, it says I've got a mo got them all. Unless it means the very, very final. I'm gonna first save just in case it is wrong. No. If 
finally here. I wonder if I can do this alone. You're not alone. What? What? Everyone remaining in the castle soul combined their powers to contact you. Everyone remained in the castle to combine their powers to contact you. Does it mean they all know of Adam Dracula? Yes, our card would told us everything. They were all afraid of me. No, not at all. At first we were shocked, but everyone believes you'll get through this. I'm going to send you a message from now. Listen. You visit my shop again, won't you? I'll be waiting for you. Good morning, Soma. You just heard what happened to you. I told you support. You are who you are. You mustn't let me win. To the man who bet beat me, don't disappoint me now. This is your last chance, and ours as well. I'm counting on you. We're all rooting for me. You can do it, because I believe in you. Mina, all right, here I go. Well, good news is that I found, apparently I found out where it is. Some, someone actually mapped it out for me. I don't remember where it is, because I don't get it that often. Thankfully, we don't need to worry too much, because... There is another ending we still need to get. And it's not 100% souls, as you probably figured out. We need to beat this form first. Chaos. I've got my souls back. Guardian Souls 1 is the only one that. Into the pit, and then we fight in the Heart of the Eclipse. But of course, the ending that we want to get requires us to actually lose. So we can get the bad ending, where we become Dracula. Sorry, I kept you waiting. Time to keep that promise I made you. And I believe, for your first time, you can get, get told something for being it. Sadly, we have to go through it again. Instead of playing something, it's something I bought. So, uh, whoops! If someone, some, if someone, someone can somehow figure, if someone somehow figures out what video I'm watching because of that, I'm going to be surprised. Episodes, though, you're not getting rid of me that easily. It doesn't tell you what it told you. Okay, well, either way, uh, we're gonna have to go back through this because I found out where it is. And this is another reason why I wish the Chaos Realm had a teleport point. Because, guess what? We're gonna have to go through this. whole area backwards. You know what? Uh, where 
Let's kill the demon. I think it's blown. Just so we can quickly get back up here. And here is the Chaos Ring. We don't need the Solar Ring anymore. So, what did the Chaos Ring give us? If I can find it. There it is. It contains the powers of Chaos. And that means we can spam, spam spells. Souls, soul cost means nothing anymore. So we can just spend the human demon and get right back to where we were. Which also means the final boss is going to be a joke. Uh, I will not be using the key before people ask. No, I will not be using the human demon on the final boss. I'm only using it to get back to where we were because, yeah. Otherwise, we're going to be here for too long. And in fact, I will even go one step further for you guys. I will even tell you what souls I'm going to bring into the final boss. I'm going to be using for the final boss, because I'm not, I'm not going to switch them. So, I'll be bringing Valkyrie, I'll be bringing Hedharm, and for my final one, ooh, part of me wants to bring Alter, but part of me wants to bring Shadow Knight, because I think it'd be funny. I genuinely think it would be funny to bring Shadow Knight. Yeah, I'll bring Shadow Knight. Let's go. Let's get this because we know about this. Time for the Heart of the Eclipse, once again. But this time... Time 
time to take out. The eyes first. Dang it! Uh, super potion. I'm usually not bad at doing that, but hey, we actually need to defeat the eyes because otherwise it has defense. That and that's the main story. Done. So some bonuses, so Hello Sama. Congratulations. I've got another job I must tell you, so I have to go now. When I heard about you were Dracula, I was shocked. I was also just waking up, you know. If you think about it, well, everything turned out okay. <laughs> I'll never forget your strength and courage. And I haven't thanked you yet for rescuing me, so thanks. You're like a younger brother to me. It was fun, and I hope we meet again. Goodbye. Hey there! Much obliged for your business in my shop. Back at the castle? I realize my true calling. Fighting's not for me. I think I'll quit the army and open up a shop sometime soon. Promise me you'll come and come. I'll give you a good deal. You fought well. When we fled from the castle, I felt the power from the vampire killer fading away. I don't know where, what that means, but I won't have. I don't know what that means, but I won't have to do anything for the time being. Farewell. May we meet again. The path you took was the most challenging one. You did well. For God to be good, evil is an absolute necessity in this world. In the future, someone may follow again in Dracula's dark footsteps. At the time, perhaps, we'll meet again. Farewell. In my mother's name, I send thanks to you. And thank you, Alucard. <laughs> Genya Arcado. Wake up! Wake up! Wake! Da -da 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 -da. Wake up! Wake up, Summer! Summer! Oh, thank God. I was so worried about you. Arakami told me you'd be okay, but I was worried. I thought you would never wake up. I heard everybody's voices. You saved my life. Again. Again? Yes, I couldn't have won that last battle by myself. Everyone's kind words and encouragement led me to victory. I'm so, so glad that your experience didn't change you. But it did change me. In what way? I'm a lot cooler now. <laughs> yeah, you have changed. The same old Soma would never have would have never have said that. Remember, remember, inside of me, dragon's power to lie sleeping. It may not be evil anymore, but it's definitely changed me. It's okay. If anything ever happens again, everyone will rush to your aid. That's right. I guess they will. Look, the eclipse has ended. Kind words gave me the strength to win. Thanks. And that is the true ending of Castlevania Aria of Sorrow! So, yeah. So, my thoughts on the project are uh, minus the corruption. <laughs> uh, I feel. I honestly enjoyed myself. The corruption did make me break down a few more bits, and I think this was a good shortish LP. I mean, if I'm correct, it's going to only be 10 episodes. 10! Even with my previous mess up. It's 10 episodes! I 
can't believe it's just 10. I don't know if this is going to be my shortest LP I'll ever do, but oh god, this is definitely one of the shorter ones. Oh, 10 episodes. I'm sorry, I'm still baffled by 10 episodes. 10. But I did enjoy myself. Uh, I do love how my luck decided, oh yeah, you're going to be given a bunch of souls right away. You're going to be given a lot of your souls. You're not going to have to worry about grinding. And right at the end, I was like, I am nearly done. I might as well grind. I think it was funnier. The grinding didn't, the grinding didn't take as long as it usually does. <laughs> Hammer's got a rocket launcher. That's not until the next game, though. Uh, before people ask, no, we'll not be doing Donna Sorrow. The only way I'll be playing it is if I have a way to record emulation because I do own it. But I'm not a fan of the mechanic, the ceiling mechanic, so I probably have to get a hack to remove it because I don't like it. But in special, we now have Boss Rush. I might as well do show. Might as well show it now. How it works is that everything you got from your previous playthrough is on, and we just go out and fight each boss. I'm gonna quickly switch to Black Panther because we need to be quick. Get full heal here, but nothing else happens. Our stats are sort of locked. some enemies. I forgot that the man-eater was here. Uh... I don't know... I don't know why I didn't just... Spam. The Valkyrie. Yeah, we only have a certain amount of healing items, so be careful. The rolling items actually do help quite a bit, though. And we are being timed, though, so it can be quick. Saturday night here. Heal, move on. Death's here. Oh wait, no. Witch, this is the one time witch is useful. Which is only really useful in this fight in the boss rush. The good news for Legion, though, is it means we can just kind of just cheese this fight. Yeah, 
because we have all the abilities, we can just kind of just make him come all the way around here, back down, and just spam Valkyrie. Yeah, we just break it and we don't need to worry about it. The problem is, we get, we just, we'll be hearing the do -do 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 a lot. Okay, so Shadow Knight's actually not useful here, so, uh... You know what? Death. The Lord's literally the V-Run killer of these, because of his fists. If he didn't really have his fists, this boss rush would not be as hard. Yeah, no, it ended there. That's fine. I'm fine if the boss rush ended there. The rewards are, I believe... Actually, I might as well just do all the special here. The rewards are, I believe, a really good... A really good hammer. I don't remember what it is. I think it might be, like, force hammer or something like that. I don't remember. A good piece of armor, a very good healing item, but we'll keep coming back over and over. But the last two are my favorites. The first is Excalibur, and not just like the sword out of the rock, it's with the rock itself. It is hilarious. The other is the Positron Cannon. It's amazing, and it's the best weapon in the game, bar none. So, yeah. But. Oh, there it is! There is the bonus! Enter Julius and you can start the game with Julius. So... No. If we type in Julius, if I'm typing it right, and we hear Julius' voice, we can play as Julius Belmont! Whip! We've got the backdash, which is really cool to use, though. We can switch sub weapons with R, press B to use them, got the cross, got holy water, got the axe, and we've got Grand Cross. How it works is that each boss will give you some up will give you some upgrades in health and in MP. And as well as damage, I swear, but apparently not also, so I don't know about that one. The problem is, we can't pause. You have to do this without pausing, which sucks. I'll, quickly, I'll just quickly show how amazing it is to play, though, for a little bit, because guess what you can do? Well, our event, just sequence break, because yeah, you can do that. You can immediately just hit this, immediately just continue on, and not care. Oh yeah, your damage numbers are different, colored differently. But just to show that you can still save, there is no soul here. You still save, so... You sink, no matter what. So, you're able to get everywhere. I think the only boss you actually have to fight... Technically... Is well, other than the foul balls, is this guy technically? Because you're not, because you're either fighting him or the armor, I believe. So we can technically uh, see if I can actually do it. Let's see if I can actually, with the little bit of time I'm going to give myself, let's see if I can. Make my way to the final area. Because 
Oh yeah, you can uppercut technically. No! Duh. No. Yeah, we can pretty much get go straight to the final boss. No, I, I'm trying to jump. Yeah, you can pretty much just. Go straight to the top floor. For some reason, the succubus still trying to tend to be meaner. Yeah, we can pretty much are at the final boss already, so uh, we can literally just save here, walk right up to the final boss, which, unlike in Donut Sorrow where they actually change who the final boss is, it's not different here, which I'm fine with. <laughs> but we're doing so little damage because we're not meant to be fighting him this point. Like, even Grand Cross is not going to be doing much. <laughs> yeah, this is so little damage. So yeah. So yeah, I'm not going to be able to beat him. I'm Right, Grad. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill myself right here. Because I'm not going to go through all of it. But yeah, that is everything what Castlevania Aria Sorrow has for us. There is some of our bonuses here and there. But, yeah. Uh, if you want my opinion, well, my recommendation for the boss rush, go for New Game Plus at least once. There's two reasons for this. The first is because I believe there are new items in Castle. So, the second reason is for experience. It's better just to go through the game again with this powerful ability, with these powerful abilities and just go crazy with them. Then once you're in the chaotic realm again, then use the, there's a soul that will give you experience if you're moving. Go to a wall and then just crouch and hold right or left because it will give you a bunch of experience and you won't even realize it. That's my recommendation. But, hey. So, after this, what's next for the channel? I don't know, I'll be real, because I don't know when this is actually going to go up. I do know, for me, I'm going to have to go for and make, do, tra do episode for Episode 13? No, episode 3 again. So, uh, 
yeah. What I what I do for this channel. <laughs> I'm kidding, I do love doing this. I have a theory of what I may do, I don't know. And if it is, let's just say it's a half blind, half not blind series. So with that, my sparks, I'll see you around. If you and before you guys ask, no, I do not know when the next LP will be. What, what date next LP will be up? You're gonna have to subscribe for that. Now subscribe and ring the bell for that because being honest, I genuinely do not know. I might take a big break. But yeah. Anyways, uh, see you guys then. Zeno and Zuma signing out.